Taking flight, drones and the urban air mobility revolution. When we talk about flying cars, we're not talking about science fiction anymore. Urban air mobility is becoming a reality sooner than most people expect. Ten years from now, direct point-to-point -point travel may be commonplace, providing quick and easy access to anywhere within a 200 kilometers radius in less than an hour. Hey, Marvel seekers! Welcome to our channel, where we explore the latest advances in technology and their impact on our lives. In today's video, we embark on a joyous journey into the world of drones and the emerging revolution of urban air mobility. Let's fly! Urban air mobility and advanced air mobility promise a revolution in faster, cleaner, and more integrated transportation. As with any revolutionary change, there are challenges to overcome before the UAM dream becomes a reality. Keeping passengers and people safe on the ground, providing enough sustained power to carry the required loads, and creating the necessary infrastructure and appropriate regulatory frameworks are just a few. While UAM is taking its first tentative steps, the use of drones for logistics is quietly maturing. Much of its growth has been in less visible areas drug delivery in Africa rather than parcels in Paris so it's easy to underestimate the maturity of the logistics drone market. This maturity and the learning it creates will help UAM meet the challenges it faces. Before we move on, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button to watch more interesting content like this. While UAM is in its early stages, it has the potential to overcome many of the urban mobility challenges within cities. For example, in terms of logistics, the final point of cargo unloading in a city generates various problems that have not yet been solved, such as congestion and the concentration of freight vehicles on logistics nodes that may coincide with dense areas of the city. Increasing fuel costs for operators. One city trying to address the existing challenges is Hamburg, Germany, where the government is committed to exploring UAM opportunities and developing the sector. Like many cities around the world, Hamburg lives with the problems caused by growing urbanization based on car-oriented planning. For the last few years, Hamburg has been a member of the UAM initiative of the European Innovation Partnership on Smart Cities and Communities. Building on the letter of intent, several Hamburg-based companies have come together to launch the Metafly Hamburg project. The research goal of the project is to find out how far unmanned aircraft systems can be used for the safe, reliable, and timely transport of medical samples. Two other cities where UAM has worked in the entrepreneurial ecosystem are Toulouse and Bordeaux, where the TINDIR Tactical Instrument Decommissioning and In-Flight Resolution project was born. Both cities are focused on staging and hosting trials and demonstrations for the integration of unmanned aircraft into existing airspace and the legal, operational, and coordination challenges this brings. This aligns with both cities' strategies to build spaces for innovation and scientific advancement. The cities have programs aimed at helping selected UAM startups grow their businesses across Europe. This is not only a boost to the local economy but also an endorsement of sustainable projects. Air transport seems to have the potential to expand urban land transport to reduce congestion in cities. It's obviously a big step from drones carrying parcels to drones carrying people. Safety, power, weight, infrastructure, regulation, cost, and customer acceptance are added dimensions in the shift from logistics drones to UAM. Add the long-term economic impact of the COVID pandemic and other geopolitical upheavals, and it's no surprise that some observers see UAM taking a while to take off. But logistics drones have created a useful base for UAM. Extending regulatory frameworks from logistics drones to UAM may still be a mammoth task, but at least the frameworks exist. Designing an autonomous aerial vehicle is more complex than designing a logistics drone, and they have many design factors in common. Sustainability is a common challenge for the entire transportation sector. Minimizing a drone's environmental footprint throughout its life cycle, particularly its impact on its power source and scarce resources, is a particular challenge for logistics and UAM, but the automotive and general aerospace industries face similar sustainability challenges. Infrastructure planning for UAM can build on what has been learned with logistics drones, recognizing that there is a whole added dimension around passenger handling and building VTOL hubs, which can be managed as part of a wider integrated transport architecture. While progress is being made in this area, the major issues that remain are security and cybersecurity. 
So, to be part of the UAM transportation revolution, drones must first demonstrate that they are safe and secure to fly. This starts with dedicated missions on specific routes where initially piloted prototype vehicles can be tested and observed. Concepts such as remote ID, which can provide identification and location information to each drone, should also be implemented. This will affect the level of public awareness and understanding. The novelty of the industry is a challenge to the development of this technology. To ensure a sustainable and responsible approach to the development of UAM services, it is important to inform and actively engage cities and regions to ensure integrated and sustainable planning for mobility and wider urban development for the benefit of their citizens. The UAM Initiative Cities community, therefore, has an important role to play in shaping the future of air travel above our cities and regions. Created in 2017 by more than 40 cities, it is a city-centric, region and citizen-driven community that brings together the voices of European cities and regions in the emerging sector of urban air mobility. Sustainable and Responsible Migration to the Vertical Dimension of Urban Mobility From September 2022, UIC2 will be part of the Civitas community. UIC2 has also developed comprehensive guidance on how UAM can be implemented in city and regional mobility planning and through a practitioner awareness program to support cities in implementing urban mobility in the context of sustainable urban mobility planning. Propulsion is perhaps the single greatest area in need of UAM innovation. The higher payloads associated with UAM versus logistics drones mean that energy density, the amount of energy that can be stored in the propulsion system, is key. Anyone following the race among electric car manufacturers to increase the range between charges will appreciate the level of focus on increasing the energy density of battery propulsion systems. At the same time, green hydrogen or fuel cells may offer viable alternatives for UAM propulsion. Whether the sustainable UAM propulsion solution is batteries or hydrogen remains one of the key questions the sector needs to address. By 2040, the AAM passenger and aircraft operating market could grow to 800 million passengers annually, with more than half of the estimated 2040 passenger demand concentrated in 20 combined metros. Noting that supply-side barriers around regulations and infrastructure examples such as 5G, cybersecurity standards, UATM, and vertical port infrastructure have been overcome in contrast to this demand. Depending on their roles, AM companies looking to enter this market can adopt one of two main strategies, city by city or partner to partner. Many existing aviation providers have connections with municipalities and the infrastructure required for AAM services, reducing the time to market for AAM aircraft operators. The partner to partner strategy, therefore, allows AAM fleet operators to achieve scale at a relatively rapid pace in a city to city approach, at the expense of the partner's share in achieving it. While challenges remain, the collective efforts of innovators, regulators, and society will pave the way for a future where the sky is no longer the limit. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of UAM. If you found this content insightful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for cutting-edge technology videos. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, fly safe.